Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my videos. On today's video we're looking at a Frank Pro Shooter and in particular I'm going to be going through the 3.10 patch notes, telling you my opinion on the different things that have come along in that, like the new character and the buffs and the nurse. Just letting you know what I think about it and then we're going to go in and we're going to do some gameplay with the new character because you've got the ability to have a go with the new character which is called Georgia. But let's go straight into this and make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification if you haven't done so already. So Frag Pro Shooter 3.10 patch notes. Obviously like I said there's a new fragger called Georgia and he is a rare fragger. I don't know if it says what his position is on it, but we'll be able to see what his position is when we go into the game in a little while time. Now, is he any good? Now, his speed is 11.6, speed while shooting 11.1, so that's that's a good trait, because I can't stand the fraggers that can have decent running speed, and then as soon as they shoot, they slow right down. There's a few of those, and they're very annoying. Rescue board is his main weapon. Very much reminds me of Mechalodon. He's a shark. The same, basically. I'm assuming he's going to be in a different position, maybe. Rescue board turns into a lethal weapon. He can use it to hit multiple targets with a single blow. So like I said, we're going to go in and we're going to have a go with him and see if he's any good. And even me playing with him doesn't mean to say he's not good. Just might mean that I just haven't quite mastered how to play him yet. Reef break. Jumps on his board, starts surfing forward, pushing, slowing, and damaging all the enemies he encounters. I wonder if that's a bit similar to... Ollie, with the board going forward, might be a similar sort of animation. Cool down nine seconds, just for four seconds, just a little bit of damage, a little bit of push, a little bit of slow effect. And then you've got the HP increased by 20% and the duration increase, that's the frag powers there. And then you've got new arena challenge in test, new players only. So yeah, going from, from different arenas for the newer players out there, they get the opportunity to unlock a fragger specific to that arena. So that's going to be good. That's going to be good trying to keep encourage the uh, the newbies in the game going forward. Wardrobe. So this is new skin lottery to unlock exclusive and premium skins for a spin free. Then you use skin coins for more spins. Wardrobe over on the second week of the season for one week only. So make sure you've got some skin tokens, skin coins, if you want to get some of those new exclusive skins. Frag Lounge. That looks like there's some nice rewards on there. Frag Lounge is live, but you've got to make a real purchase to access it. That's the only downfall of that one. New missions added to the game. And uh, did an overall season challenge. Ah, this is good. This is good. I read this earlier and some of these challenges, the hard part is when it says, can you get MVP with this particular character for three games, four games, five games in a row? And it's like long shot or somebody who's like, you're never going to get them as MVP. So they've changed that now. So rather than it being just the char that particular character, it's going to be just get MVP in total. So you can use anyone. My choice will obviously be Queen Unicorn because she is awesome. Let's go for new instruments we're playing, and you can get the chance to own, play fraggers you don't own yet. So that's what we're going to be doing, like I said. Road life and lockable arena three, sisters tab, balance. Here we go, the balance is stuff. Mechalodon, he's getting a little bit of a buff, a little bit more ammo, fire rate, more damage than Shark Storm. He's not too bad, he's not a meta, but he's pretty, pretty reliable, pretty handy. Giga Goo, a little bit of HP and a little bit of better regen. And yeah, he's going to be a little bit better, but again, not quite good enough for the meta in my opinion. Gizmo, who I haven't really played with much, they've improved him because he's not as good as they wanted him to be. One of his abilities, two seconds more in the air, and 20% fire rate. Luke Kamoitra, who for a long, long time was in the meta and sort of kind of dropped out of the meta now. He's, he's been being given a little bit more loving, and his damage is increased by 10%, and his... Dead gas, cooldown reduced by 20, 25%, 20, 
and the toxic cloud is lasting a bit longer, the damage over time is going to be more. Speed reduction effect on toxic cloud increased by 25%. Jump distance increased by 11%. So yeah, I think Luke Chaboitra may be pushing himself back into the meta. Stay tuned and keep an eye out for him in some battles, If you're in, especially if you're in the top tiers. Baron the Doom, 20% damage and hit 15% of hit points, and his resurrection cast time is improved. So yeah, he's he's going to be in the top half. Not quite meta though. Nautica, speed while shooting is improved. The damage increases as well, and the cooldown has dropped. So she's going to be improved again. From my opinion, still not quite quite good enough for the B a must have. Ripping Finn, weapon range. Going from 30 to 40 and base damage 10%. That is good. Ripping Finn, he's one of those few fraggers that has the ability to take out an entire team with one swoop of his wave. Ape Suit, it's a little bit of a speed increase, a little bit of hit point increase, and a little bit of fire rate increase. He's, I don't use him and his shredder there. I don't use him, but he is good. He is good. Some people use him. Wolfson is the only one who's been nerfed a little bit. Now, I find Wolfson... No, he's not the only one being nerfed, actually. He's one of the ones being nerfed. I find him not very good with the shooting, so I've never been a fan of Wolfson, but maybe some people find him good and are overpowered with him. Quarterback, he is... Unfortunately, for those people that have been using the quarterback, he has been probably in the meta with his recent buff that he had. But they're now reducing his home in speed, reducing his ability range, reducing his fire rate. They've nerfed him down a little bit, which is unfortunate. So that is that. And then the rest of it is just like bug fixes. So with that, let's go in and have a little go with the new character. So here we go. Challenge. Try George for three battles. We're just going to do it for the one. Let's go in and see what it's all about. Oh, it's not going to be too difficult. It's going to be up against the level nine. Okay. He seems a little bit... Eh. He looks quite good, actually. We need to find someone to shoot at. Where are they all gone? They're all up here. What's going on? Did that work? Oh, they're very, they're very weak. To... Purposely weak. Can I get a shot off? Oh, no. Right. Turn around. Turn around. Back to where I came from. And there we go with the surfing thing. That didn't do anything. But one shot has paid to a level three. Where are they at? Where are they at? There they are. Let's go. Let's boom. Oh, I've just gone right through him. I'm flying. I am actually flying. There's a double kill there. Obviously, he's going to be good against these very weak characters. Where's that character? Where's he gone? Oh, there we go. Oh, a nice little kill there. He might be quite good. This character might be quite good. Is he going to shoot? He's shooting. He's not shooting. Okay, what's happening with his actual gun is my question. But he's doing a lot of, bit, a lot of surfing about... Just doesn't seem to be doing any actual shooting. Why is he not doing any shooting? It's not working for me on the shooting front. Let's go around. Is he finally going to do some shooting? Oh, I'm going to get killed. Or am I? No! Get him! Nice! Can I get any more kills during the end? No, don't kill me. Oh, another kill. And there we go. So, I don't know. He might be good. He might not be good. I like the surface stuff, but he's shooting. I didn't even notice if he was shooting or not. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'm going to smash that like button. That'd be super awesome. Shout out to my channel, Donna Ken Percy. And as always, if you want to help grow the channel, way beyond 25,000 subscribers, make sure you share today's video and feel free to check out one call shortly. Bye for now.